Before starting to thaw out your feeder free IPSCs, we recommend that you prepare the cell culture labware that you'll be using, as well as making a cell culture thawing media mix. The thaw media mix is a mixture of your cell culture growth media. In this video, we are using LifeTech E8 and adding in rock inhibitor at a stock concentration of 10 millimolar. This will give a final working concentration volume of rock inhibitor at 10 micromolar per mil. It is important to give the cryovial a spray of ethanol before placing into the water bath. This is to ensure that there is no transferring of contaminants into the water bath. Ensure that you only partially thaw the cryovial, leaving a small ice crystal. Then remove from the water bath and spray again with ethanol before placing inside the tissue culture hood. To collect the cells from the cryovial, take one mil of the thawing mix previously made and add drop bites into the cryovial. When adding the media, it is important to remember the volume you are adding in. We freeze one mil of cells into a 1.8 mil cryovial, so adding the full volume might cause the cryovial to become full and overspill. This could lead to cell loss and potential increase the chances of contamination. Once you have collected all the media from the cryoval, transfer the cell media mixture into a fresh 15 ml centrifugation tube and add the cells again drop wise down the side of the tube. Top up with 8 ml of the thorium media mix adding down the side of the tube to mix the cells and to ensure you're diluting out the DMSO that's in the freezer mixture. Remember it's important to label the tube with the cell line and your initials before centrifugation. Centrifuge at 120 times G for 3 minutes. Ensuring that the centrifuge is balanced. While the centrifuge is running, you can return to the hood and aspirate off the vitronectin from the well you'll be throwing the cell line into. It is important to only have one cell line per plate. This is to reduce the likelihood of sample swaps and cross-contamination. Add one mil of the thorium media mix into the well you aspirated. Add the media down the side of the well to ensure you're not damaging the vitronate and coating at the bottom of the well. Upon the completion of the centrifugation, collect the centrifuge tube and aspirate off the supernate and only relieving a small amount of liquid to ensure that you don't aspirate off any of the cell pellet and to make sure you've removed as much of the cryoprotectant as possible. Mm -hmm. 
agitate the pellet by flicking the tube to help release the pellet from the bottom of the tube. Take one mil of the thawing mixture. We suspend the pellet by mixing a few times, focusing on not creating too many bubbles, as this will affect how the cells will adhere when transferred to the well, as well as potentially lose any cells as they attach to the bubble. Once you've completed resuspending the cells, transfer the mixture of cells into the prepared well. Remember to label the well containing the cells with the cell line name and the date, as well as cross off any empty wells on the plate. We will now observe the cells under a microscope. The cells should not have attached at this point. This allows you to check the distribution of the cells within the well and the size of the clumps. Make sure to keep an eye out for any fragments that appear larger as these will likely differentiate one settling in the well. Once you are happy, transfer the plate back into the incubator at 37 degrees and leave overnight without disturbing the plate. These are a few pictures of healthy looking colonies taken after 24 hours. You can see they are round and compacted, but you may need to meet, change some of these wells to get them to compact completely. This is a collection of cells that are differentiated out after 24 hours. There are some good cells in some of these images, so you could possibly pass out and recover these cells.